Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna do the boring stuff, but very necessary stuff. And it is mulching. So we buy mulch by bulk, we buy uh, uh, truckloads, a uh, truck with a mulch. This is big chunk of mulch, you can, you can see big chunks. Um, it's a little bit um, dyed, I think it's a dark coffee color. Um, I kind of like big, big chunks, um, I don't mind, uh, mostly I put, okay, so look at the flower bed, and this part, as you can see, is not mulch, and this one mulch, look at the difference, wow, it look amazing, I cannot wait till all this um, Mr. Miller will be covered in, uh, around in mulch, it will be beautiful, so I started with my east side of the house, I have here a few dead trees that I need removed and on this side it's a um, vitex shrubs I have I love them they'll be blooming pretty soon bloom some boxwoods some irises I'm going 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 here a few more vitex so every spring I trim my vitex shrubs so they're gonna go more like a tree, multi trunk tree rather than shrub. I mean it's kind of a very fluffy shrub and some irises here and this is a grape myrtle that kind of <laughs> came out from my neighbor. So uh, you see we have a drop here so this is the wood drop about three four feet and my neighbor has their uh, myrtle and its root came up up <laughs> and growing here which is kind of funny. I have some of them in my backyard too, um, volunteers, uh, but they're a beautiful pink color and I'll leave them. So this is my east side of our house, I already mulched here, I clean up all the leaves and branches, I did only halfway, kind of, because uh, grass kind of grow on this side and not really grown here, so I kind of mulch halfway, Oop. halfway mulch and halfway will be grass. I don't have extinct border, just somewhere, but yeah, this one, I love it because nothing special tools, just buckets, and not way to mulch all this, it will be gorgeous, I love mulch, uh, we mulch every year in the spring, and I have a bunch of plants that need go on the ground, so all this are gonna mulch, and I'm gonna show you guys how beautiful all this will be looking with mulching, even tall perennials, I'll try and mulch very careful. And look at here, the gladioluses I planted on a video, they're coming up. So, and uh, lilies, lilies look gorgeous. If you don't know what lilies is, there they are, kind of like a palm tree. <laughs> they're growing, they will be blooming very soon. They're, one of the first things that is blooming in this flower bed and look at them, I want to show you something one of my neighbor, very nice lady um, so almost all my amarillo bulbs will not bloom but her, she have a lot of amarillo bulbs that blooming with this color and she shared with me beautiful, so she was looking at my amarillo bulbs and she says, I think she thinks that I, because of the last winter I mulched them and cover their neck and that's where maybe they don't have flowers so I will gonna dig them up in a bowl and plant them up high and I'm so happy my lot of petalum is coming alive back you see the, those little flowers because I have here a page of them so slowly, extremely slowly but they're coming back alive and I'm very happy have here some gara and some salvia and okay can you guys recognize this? <laughs> if you're a girl of vegetables, you will recognize this is potato. <laughs> I have volunteer potato in my flower bed. Uh, sometimes in the winter, if I don't want to do compost, I just put peels in my flower bed. I dig dig a hole and put peels in and covering up. And I have now potatoes growing out of a peel, potato peel. So you see, you, know, <laughs> you don't even put the whole potato in. You will be have a Still potato. Verbena, verbena look amazing right now. 
So verbena floss is perennial in a, I don't know from what zone it starts becoming perennial. You know, lots of northern zones it's only annual, but floss it's perennial. And look at that. Beautiful. I just cut it, cut it in the fall. It's foliage and it's coming back. If I don't dig a root, it's coming back. My snapdragon so started peeding out. And here I start having flocks, I start blooming white flocks. I ordered this from Proven Winner, Proven Winners a few years ago. I do not remember the name of this flocks. It's not woodland flocks, it's something. And it will be blooming for quite a long time. Very beautiful. I cannot wait. It's only only started and when all this grouping and this grouping will start blooming, it will be very striking. It's don't grow too tall, so that's basically its heights and only what 12 inches, that's it. Beautiful. Here's some of my lilies that I plant from a bowl. I don't know the name of it. It's just coming out of the tear. <laughs> now I forget the name of this, but this is all. I dig out a whole shrub of this. And it's volunteer coming back. Just love it. It's just gonna come back and bloom. And here's Azaleas. Beautiful Azaleas. Maple tree. I really like how yeah, impatience feel back, you know? strong see them let me see I'm gonna go on the sidewalk this is the sidewalk let me see I can even see them striking yellow is a very striking color you can really do see and this flower bed slowly coming in I don't know I'm gonna start wondering maybe I did wrong choice because the blue one kind of hard to see blue but maybe it's I mean you can see from close by but from far Maybe I need something lighter color, maybe a white car, or I don't know, I'm still battling. I do love this salvia extremely, because look at, look at how much little plant give me blooms. Look at that, it's amazing. And I know that they will be blooming so long, so I don't really want to change it up, but maybe I have to look at this and it's hard to and gara so gara is um, it's all gonna bloom 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 and then it's just will be stakes and then there will multiply more and it's bloom so gara i have to fertilize every month that's what some um, kind of um, tag said uh, fertilize every every month uh, so that's why it's keep blooming because gara usually blooming for us nine months kind of out of year so and we we'll have all this bloom you kind of have to take care of it and fertilizing and here is the magnolia buds will be blooming pretty soon a lot of magnolia very beautiful so this is what look like this flower bed from corner of the sidewalk yellow i really do see yellow is popping grass is starting coming alive which is i'm happy and last, before I go back to my mulching, I want to show you my red bud. I don't remember the name of this red bud, uh, but look at these leaves. Isn't that gorgeous? They remind me like red heart, bleeding heart. And look at this flower seeds. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? I always love red buds uh, in um, Ukraine we don't have them but here in America I love them and this is the only red bud tree that I have beautiful love it love it love it okay I want to show you shame <laughs> my shame I wasn't in time to prune this crepe myrtle so now I have all this first of all I have seeds <laughs> second one I have all this growth new growth which is if i'm not trim my flowers will be very small so i will find some time and try to trim it down i could live like this yes but it will prefer to be much lesser have all these little plants little little 
little kind of branches and uh, pay attention to bigger branches and bigger flowers. So yeah, I'm gonna work on this sometimes. So. Okay, back to mulching. Update on my mulching. So this is like a three, four days after first video because first load of truck wasn't enough to cover all front garden beds with mulch. But look at how beautiful it is. All that dark color mulch and how oh, kind of shining silvery dusty miller. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. love it so much. And this is a uh, coleus that I saved from another flower border that I was planted um, so I brought them um, whole I w it was long uh, flower pot and I brought it in and it was have three plants just like it's one two three and it was much smaller and uh, I will winter them over the house uh, not too many survived because I don't really have a proper lighting for uh, plants to be indoor but this guy survived and uh, early in the spring I divide them in their own pots and now they're getting bigger and bushier and beautiful. I love it. Okay, so let me take it. So as you can see, it's beautiful. And now, of course, I have uh, extra to my mulch. I have seeds from my <laughs> maples. And I have some dead leaves. Uh, interesting thing is this holly was the same color as this holly. But because it's been growing in the shade, it's changed its color to light green so i believe all these colors will be changed their color to light green which is i don't mind it's just it's something interesting that i have uh, lime color hollies and then i have dark leaf holly azaleas so i plant azaleas this spring and they're done they're blooming so this is what they look after they're done they're blooming i kind of even surprised that they start giving new growth i didn't expect from um, kind of this spring to have a new growth but both of them doing well uh, so azaleas is uh, when you plant in uh, plant on the same level as the soil but i knew that i will be mulching so i even plant them half an inch a little bit above the ground and now that i cover um, ground with mulch and uh, now it's all the way same size um, azalea don't like to sit in uh, water but they do want to have um, moist soil so that's why they're gonna ask to plant them uh, same level or even a little bit high so um, this azalea uh, is I was looking up it does require sun and it does get sun um, it has so this side is a south side of a house but I do have maple tree right here and maple tree blocking sun till about right here and then there's another tree give a shade so basically this azaleas is had literally only hour hour and a half of sun and it's kind of close to evening sun not late late evening but late evening I love how this this flower bed now it's kind of looks so empty and I'm like I need filling up with something I don't know if it's filling up more with some Dusty Miller or something I don't know I'm extremely happy 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 that my lower petal has petal start growing give its leaves back because I'm like man I like this shrub because it's kind of covering our bench from our road so cars don't really easily see people if we're sitting on a bench we got working project bathroom project so we got materials outside oh let me show you it's about to bloom any day now this is amaryllis um, i have this amaryllis here for the past three years a lot of my amaryllis this year I will not gonna bloom but those guys are will and I'm very very happy this <laughs> this is sage and look at the sage it's kind of hard to see because it's wispy it's about four to four and a half feet tall and when I got it it was only foot foot and a half and now it's 
such a huge all lilies are ready to be bloom pansies all alive i really like how yellow yellow is popping in like a light because uh, compared to dark colored lilies and other perennials it's just like popping in at you i'm <laughs> loving it maybe i need to add some pansies in the fall yellow one to this this flower border is beautiful snapdragons is blooming i already have plants to plant on this spot so i'm waiting maybe i need to move them too just like pansies flux has started to open up this is small flux i don't know name of it but i uh, got from 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 uh, <laughs> winners a few years ago and uh, i'm loving it it's beautiful bloom and uh, because last night was 36 degree uh temperature i was covering my peony uh here in the back because i didn't want nothing happen to them because i'm like i'd be <laughs> really unhappy with myself so yeah i covered them up azalea is already started down done with their blooms uh, all those light green is uh, new foliage that they're growing pansies well not pansies impatience doing awesome i mulched them now they're kind of looking much brighter in um, dark compared to duller mulch so and everything look happy and same color mulch it's all same color dark and uh, kind of everything is uh, showing up much better in a dark mulch well that's it for today thank you guys so much for watching my video have an excellent day and see you next time bye